and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, pretty, pretty cool. SFK, SunFun Kits. Did I say that correct? Yes, SunFun Kits. Batteries, they just came out with a battery which you can plug into your Venus OS or Victron, Servo GX or Raspberry Pi, whatever you want to plug it into, with just this little USB cable here, which is on the one side USB, which plugs into, correct, in your Raspberry Pi or in your Servo GX. On the other side, it is a kind of a network plug, which I can see it's just two or three wires in, connected actually in here. They plug into their battery. Yes, they have a port just for the battery. And then next steps will just be plugging it into your Raspberry Pi, Servo GX, and using the battery with, and here it comes, some control of the battery. So you can actually configure things on the battery and then you can use other, let's say, node red automations if you want to, or other Victron components, connect them to each other and just monitor it through your, through your VRM port, for example. So that's pretty cool. That's the video about today, at least part of it. I am not looking at a battery in this video. Um, SFK, that's the first SFK battery I actually have and which I look at. In my case, we're looking at this one, the SFK version 5. And you can, as much as I understand, this is the link actually to the new kit. And you can also just buy the battery and build it yourself. So it is a battery you can take apart or you can order it DIY apart and just put it together, which is pretty cool. And it also comes with a heating carry-on thing, whatever you want to call it. I think they call it a heating blanket or a heating, a heating bag or something like that, which is pretty cool. You can connect to your battery and turn it on and off if it's a colder condition. So you know, okay, I need to turn it on. We're looking at a battery, we're looking how that works and that's what we want to do. The first thing, and that's just something which is very important. In my case, we'll have the Raspberry Pi with Venus S. Um, there is how you install that. Um, I will be using one of my systems. I think I will use, uh, yeah, I got my little board up here. So as always, forget that. Ignore the mess, but we'll get there in a minute. Okay, so here to the left, you see the MultiPlus. Up there, you can find a video about it. So from Sunfun Kits, that is the bag I received actually, and that's pretty cool. That's the, the heater bag, which comes with this heater mat down here. And uh, you can connect it with an XT, I don't know what it is, 30 or whatever. So pretty small, XT30, yes, and plugs into or connects to your battery with a positive and negative and it also has a temperature um, sensor over here and then it has a on-off switch here. And then behind there we can see the SFK battery. So in this battery, yes, you can imagine this battery, I have to hold it. That's what you're talking about. This is the, the communication port. That's the important thing, what we're talking about and what we need. Of course, we have the um, positive, negative over here. We have some um, buttons, which I have not figured out yet and I did not look at, but um, I'll do that in a second. They sent it to me assembled, so we'll use it as it is. And what I want to do first is actually just plugging it in, which means I'm using the this cable, which they also sell on our website, link in the description below, of course, just to make sure that you get the right cable. So you plug it into here in this port and that's all. And you can, of course, connect multiple of those um, together to one Raspberry Pi or Servo GX and you can use a USB hub if you want to. A very cheap USB hub should work for that. And this cable I will now connect on the other side because that's what we want to see how it reacts. Okay, I had to play around with that. First attempt didn't work. And what I was using, I showed you, this is a SanDisk Ultra USB 3.0, 128 kilowatt. I don't think that this is a problem that it's USB 3 or more. Um, the only thing I found was actually another USB drive, uh, which is USB 2 by accident. I would have used a USB 3 as well and tried it with the other one. I didn't want to use the one I had. but So what I needed to do was actually, and I'll show you that ideally, well, I, I tested my device already, so it's hard for me to uninstall the driver, but I'm using this one, plugging it in. Well, actually, no, I'm not using the other one, plugging it in. And then it's very important, here it is, that whatever we do, right click on the USB thumb, which is right here, go on formatting. Um, this is German, I'm sorry, again, formatting. 
And then what we want to do is, and then we want to change the file system here, which is on the term, sorry, from NTFS to XFAT. Um, or when you have a smaller USB thumb, um, it might just say FA, FAT. And I believe Linux, because it's Raspberry Pi and the Venus OS, especially Venus OS, is based on Linux, um, cannot communicate with NTFS. That's what I understand, at least. Uh, or at least the um, drivers are missing on the Venus OS. OS operating system. So what you want to do is um, change the formatting to FAT or extended FAT. Um, I'll use the fast formatting. Hit yes, want to double check if that's the right one. It is. Now I'm doing that, and then it's formatted. The next step is you go into that folder, and you've downloaded the file ideally already, and then you just copy it in here. And yes, this is a hidden folder, so you would probably not see it if you don't have it. Uh, configured so ignore the system volume information ideally you have nothing so you would only see this venus dash data dot tar dot gx uh, gc that's all and now we want to just safely um unplug it so that's what i'm doing here take this one out and now we have it now we use it we do not plug in the battery usb cable yet into the raspberry pi um, I want to highlight this again. Please follow those steps because um, I also read through it a bunch of times. So th those are setting the driver. Of course, first downloading it. And then the next part is copying it without any subfolders, not extracting. And then ideally you just turn off your Raspberry Pi, unplug it or whatever you do, or hit reboot and then you plug in the USB into any of those ports which is available. Then you start it or reboot the Raspberry Pi and then you just look at a clock. There's nothing happening visually. Just wait three to five minutes. They say two to three. Just wait. Just leave it alone. If that's happened for you, turn it off. Raspberry Pi turning it off. That's the section here. Turn it off and then you unplug your USB again. Very easy. Then you start again the Raspberry Pi by plugging the cable or whatever you have. And then you can already plug in the SFK battery. It's pretty much pretty simple. And then as soon as it's up, you might see it or you might not see it, but I can see it here. And I tested on both of my devices, same process as I mentioned. I was using a USB 2. I don't think that has to do anything with that, otherwise the manufacturer would have said anything. But it has to do with the format, uh, for, with the file system. Pretty sure, pretty confident. And then you see here, in my case, I can see I, of course, have an under battery with a smart shot connected, uh, which is going through a different system. So now I have the SFK battery 6 here. Um, and as much as I understand, it's based on the USB port. One thing you should keep in mind, because they highlighted here once, uh, where is it? Please note, USB 3 port is power only. So this is Servo GX related, not Raspberry Pi. But if you're using a Servo GX, you want to pay attention to that. Uh, in my case, um, I was using a USB hub on the one Raspberry Pi, on the other one I am not, so right now it's connected without a USB hub. But uh, you might need to read the section. For me, it is here, so I can see the SFK battery 6. I have a state of charge of 43%, so I can go into here. I can see there's nothing going out. Um, that will be part of the next video for sure. But here we can see it. Um, we, uh, we can see different things, battery temperature, MOSFET temperature, um, because I think I only have one battery here anyways, uh, sorry, one temperature sensor, I have to double check with that. Because it's nothing consumed, um, it calculates itself, but that's all information from the BMS as much as I understand, which is pretty cool. So when I go into details, I see a bunch of information in here, that's pretty dope. Yeah, so we can see that, oh cool, mm, the lowest cell, highest cell voltage, so a lot of information which you, by the way, can also see in the app in the SFK app, which I'm highlighting here. Uh, fairly simple, pretty cool as well. Maybe a screenshot here as well. And then install available capacity. I have a 280 amp hour battery, it looks like. Nice. Then we can also look into the cell voltages. It's pretty neat as well. And then we can see or configure, I believe, alarms as well. Is that correct? Or just, no, just see. I cannot change them, okay. But we can see what else we have. Okay, we have history, zero charge cycles. I haven't done anything, sorry. 
input output allow to charge yes those things you can adjust in the app as well force charging off turn balancing off pretty cool what you can do here man the sfk battery is amazing and as much as i understand um this company is a us based company that's rad i like that um Anyhow, so connection. Oh, here we see the connection to the Raspberry Pi USB 5. That's what it's calling out. And here you can also change the name in case you want to. So instead of SFK battery 6, I want to call this one SFK battery, SFK Toby. Hit enter. Well, everyone knows now this is SFK Toby battery. And we can see a couple more information here as well as the serial number so those are kind of things you can see and i can see here in the vrm portal as well i'm pretty sure so speaking about a vrm portal that is so funny uh it is connected to this one so let's see if i see anything yeah quite interesting so all the go to pages here really quick since i have two batteries uh, competing batteries now installed. You can see here it is using the SFK battery it looks like. And I think uh, it, it might get confused. Here we can see the temperature. It might get confused and I have to adjust maybe some uh, configuration if I want to continue using it like that. I mean it doesn't make sense for me. Um, I would probably I would probably go the route um, either have a smart trend like I have here or maybe I don't need it even with the SFK battery because it comes already with all the features. I just need to connect it. That I don't need a smart channel. I see everything in here. The only thing what might not work and I have to figure it out and that's enough, another follow up video with no dread and see how much I can actually use the native stuff of the FSK battery. So this is quite cool, I have to, I have to admit. Um, I don't know how, how big the horizon is or how much we can do here, but I wanna definitely figure that out because here we can see it here. That's, that's the one, pretty nice. I uh, like it. Yeah. I'm really curious um, if you have any uh, questions about that. Um, I think the installation steps are okay. Um, the only thing what needs to be improved is, in my opinion, figuring out um, is it the file system format which needs to be uh, addressed because this is a Raspberry Pi and a Linux based Venus OS um, installation. So that basically means already that there must be a file system working otherwise the USB thumb will be not recognized by the file system. So I tried a couple times um, with both my devices and that was the solution for me. That's why I'm sharing it. Maybe um, SFK you want to put it in the manual as well. That helps maybe other ones. Um, I hope if you have watched this let me know what you see. want to see in the follow-up videos. I'm planning on um, looking at this battery more in details because it's my first SFK battery and uh, I, I saw very high quality stuff so far with it. So that's what I encounter and figure out as well as... I don't want to make the video too long. Um, as well as the node red, I want to see what's capable um, and possible with that one, but um, therefore I need to play around a little bit more. Just received the battery, so um, I think uh, it's pretty cool to see that you can natively just connect the battery to, to the Victron system, which is amazing. And maybe, maybe not, there might be some other um, automations, alarms, etc. you can configure with this, and that is especially what we want to try here. Yeah, let me know what you think about it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to um, follow up with those videos uh, which are coming out within the next couple of weeks and month. Working on a bunch, bunch of other stuff as well, as well with uh, no dread. I, I think I'm not sorry. I do have another uh, product as well coming and I'm still working on it, which is the GX Tank 140. So that's also another cool thing. I still um, need to figure out the sensor situation. So if you have any recommendation for that one, please leave the co some comments below. I look forward to the next videos working on those ones will be a lot of um, stuff to figure out this definitely took me longer than i expected but um, it was well worth it so again let me know what you think about the sfk battery and that you can incorporate them into the vrm system into venus s into victron into the victron world welcome it say hi to hi sfk toby in this case thanks for watching see you next time cheers